Today's topic is pictures that stand up. This is a scene of a desk surface and there are many goods on the desk. This is a ballpoint pen which I usually use. And this is my mobile phone. And this is a cup, but actually it is not a real cup, but a picture. This is also a picture. And this is also a picture. This pen stand is picture too. The desktop um, clock is a picture. And this Trump card is a picture. And also this Hotchkiss is a picture. All other things are pictures. But when we see these pictures from a special direction, we feel that the, the real object is standing. This is the one of the 3D illusion we usually have in our daily life. So why this illusion happens? The main reason is that uh, you are looking at pictures taken by a camera instead of the real scene directly. We have two eyes and when we see the disk surface directly, uh, we can perceive the true depth because we have two eyes and the binocular stereo function gives us the information about the depth. However, when we take a picture using a camera, the camera has only one lens center and so the um, video image is equivalent to seeing the scene by only one eye fixed to a certain point. So um, the picture does not have depth information and our brains try to guess, just to imagine what has real depth. And so uh, if we see this kind of familiar object, we usually uh, think that they are 3D objects. But the reason why these pictures look like standing. So the next question is how we can make this kind of pictures? This is a very uh, strange shape. And uh, let me show how we can make this kind of pictures. So for that purpose, let's consider how we see the object and the images. Suppose that we have a desk surface and a cup on the top. And we fix a camera, this point um, represents the lens center of a camera, and they take a picture. Then we get the image projected onto this plane. But to, if we place this image on the desk surface, we cannot see the standing object. Um, <clears throat> if we want to uh, make a picture which looks like standing, we need to project the object onto the desk surface uh, with respect to the camera lens center as a projection center. But uh, it's uh, not easy to project the object onto the surface directly. So we take a camera, uh, we take a picture by a camera and deform this image to fit this disk surface. Uh, for that purpose, you know, one of the easiest way is to make these mark points on the disk surface. Here I <coughs> consider the um, four corner vertices of a um, square. And if we um, place these marks and take a picture of the object together with these marks, we get this picture. And we can <coughs> transform this image in such a way that those four lead points uh, formed uh, corners of the rectangle. So let me 
consider this by example to make this object. The original cup is here. And <coughs> here we have four marks at the corners of the square and place this uh, plate on the desk surface and put the <coughs> object here and take a camera. And next we transform this uh, picture to make this deformed picture. Let me show. Now let me show how to deform this picture to fit um, another picture which when we place on the desk surface looks like standing up as a 3D object. So our goal is to deform this image in such a way that those four marked points becomes the vertices of a scale. And for that purpose we need um, <coughs> projected transformation. And I am using um, um, software, application software named Photoshop, which has this function. So let me start. We choose um, <coughs> yes, that transformation. So we can deform object uh, the picture like that. And not only we can expand or shrink, but we can deform more freely like that. And I think in this formation, the four marks are almost square. In order to adjust correctly, we need to <coughs> Um, by placing the ruler and so on, but uh, this kind of deformation will give us the picture which we want to obtain. And please note, in this case, the uh, top curve of the cup is a circle, almost true circle. In the original picture, this looks like an uh, ellipse, but uh, because this top circle is uh, parallel to the disk surface in the three-dimensional space, so the, in this kind of projected picture, the <coughs> top uh, shape is uh, just um, expanded or shrink shrunken on the disk surface, and so it uh, continues to be a square. Uh, Circle. So to make the top curve from ellipse to circle is another mm, mm, a mark we can find this kind of transformation. Anyway, we get this shape and when we print it and cut it, then we get the picture which we want. I have shown a method to deform the picture taken by a camera of a real object to <coughs> a deformed picture. But the same thing can be done in computation by the computer. Let me show some example. This is a picture printed on the plane, but when we see it from this angle, it looks like a narrow standing. And this is another picture. When we show it, see it from this angle, the um, letters and arrows looks like standing. And this is another picture. And when we see this from this angle, we see a uh, cherry blossom standing. And in those kind of pictures, uh, we have and shadows also. And the shadow is one of the strong cues uh, by which 
we perceive uh, 3D um, standing object instead of the picture. Let me show how the <coughs> shadow is so strong by another example. This is an example to show the power of shadows. Here are two objects, but the one is placed on the desk surface, but the other looks like floating in the air. This is because the, we consider that this uh, dark part is a shadow of this object, which makes us feel that the light object is floating. The truth is that both objects are placed on the desk surface. And actually there are these uh, pictures of the shadows in both sides. And when we place this here, we have a feeling that the true shadow of this object is like that. And when we place this in another position, the shadow is cast on the surface from the floating object. This is the power of the shadow to um, <clears throat> make us feel the depth of the 3D object. Now let me show a quiz last. Um, in this case, we use a real object, not the picture. This is a natto container, which is very popular in Japan. And I chose this shape for this example, and there's a strong reason. Please consider what kind of objects are suitable to make this kind of floating object illusion. That's a quiz. Thank you very much.